There are times when our good deeds come back to us. This man saved a pregnant lynx from a cliff. You won't believe how the lynx repaid him. Looking down at the edge of the cliff, the man knew that he could be in a lot of trouble. His hands were ice cold, and he wasn't sure how much longer he'd be able to hold on. He knew he wasn't supposed to be climbing on his own, but this time it couldn't be helped. And now his soft heart might just have gotten him killed. And to think that just a day before, he was excited for his first real adventure as a ranger in the national park. Roland had been so excited about his new job. The first few days had been tough, though. The other rangers were welcoming, but they also gave him a hard time as the new guy. They gave him the worst jobs and made him do everything that no one wanted to do. The National Park tracked the animals in the different sections of their land by looking at trail camps set up all over the park. Then, one late afternoon, they noticed that one section of the cameras was off. It was in the cliffs, and they needed someone to drive over and to go and check on it. No one was in the mood to drive so far that late at night. They would have to stay in the mountains if they did, since it was too late to get back. It was a cold day and it wasn't going to be fun to camp that night. Everyone looked at each other and then smiled. They knew just who had to go. Roland knew that he was it even before they turned to him. But the joke was on them. Roland wanted to get out to the mountains from the moment that he got there. He loved the cold and he loved camping. Up to that point, they had been making him do paperwork and all sorts of indoor tasks. He had worked hard to become a ranger and be outside in nature. Getting stuck inside felt like torture. Before they could change their minds, he grabbed his backpack, his tent, and a vehicle, and he was on his way. He would have preferred to take a horse, but it was getting late, and he didn't know the terrain. He would never want to endanger an animal, and so he used one of the off-road vehicles instead. He went over to the trail cams and started to check them. He found that the major cable running to all of them had been chewed through. He could fix it and then he could look around the area for a while before putting up the tent. It was a great night, but an ice-cold wind cut through his tent. The next morning wasn't any warmer. He packed up and was ready to go, but then he got a call through the radio. Two hikers were missing as they were headed for the cliffs. The rangers wanted him to check the area for any signs of the hikers. If he found them, then he could call in for assistance. Roland drove up the hill, getting out at various points to check for traces of the hikers. He couldn't see anything. He even checked against the hills to make sure that no one had fallen down them. But there were no other humans in sight. He was looking down a steep cliff when he got a call over the radio. The hikers had been found. He could return to the office, but as he turned, his eye caught something. There against the cliffs, there was an animal. Roland was excited to see the lynx, and he took out his binoculars to look at it. Then he was shocked. She was stuck. Her leg was caught on the ledge, and it didn't look great. He called it in, but the other rangers told him that they could only get out there later that day. The lynx seemed to be in rough shape. The rest of the team warned Roland not to climb on the cliffs without a buddy to help him stay safe, but he was young and a huge animal lover. He couldn't leave the animal there in so much pain. He tied his rope to a tree and began to climb down the cliff. The lynx watched him as he descended, but just before he could reach her, the rope frayed against a sharp edge at the top. Without warning, the rope broke, and Roland found himself hanging on by only his fingertips. He knew that he was in trouble. His hands were becoming ice cold, and holding on with his fingers wasn't easy. His soft heart could be the cause of his death, but just the thought of that gave him renewed energy. He held on and climbed as quickly as he could. Then suddenly he felt the solid ground underneath his feet. The ledge where the lynx was was a lot larger than he expected. To his shock, he saw that he could have walked around and reached the ledge without climbing down the cliff. There was even a path that led to this cliff, but he was there now. The lynx was watching him, and holding his breath, he went closer. She just watched him. The shock and pain of her injury, combined with the cold morning air, worked to keep her calm. Her leg was stuck in a hole, and it was bent terribly. It was clearly broken, and he knew she needed to see a vet right away. They did have a vet that could come out to them, but the lynx was small, and Roland believed it would be easier to take her to the vet's office and get her checked out. He watched her closely, but she didn't react to him. It was only her eyes that watched everything he was doing. Roland was quite terrified when he bent down and touched the hole where her leg was stuck. She flinched as his hand got close to her wounds, but she didn't get aggressive. Roland dug next to her foot to try and get the hole bigger. 
Eventually, he could pull her leg free without hurting her. The lynx was shaking. Roland folded his jacket around her. It would be an extra layer of safety against her claws and teeth. Then he picked her up, and this time he took the path to go back to his vehicle. She kept calm the entire way, but by the time they got to the vehicle, Roland was shaking too. His arms were feeling very wobbly. He had climbed the cliff and now carried the animal all the way. He was tired, but there was no time for rest. She was curled up in a ball and seemed very weak. As quickly as he could, Roland rushed to the vet in the park. He let them know that he was coming so that they would be waiting when he got there. A few other rangers were there when he arrived and they couldn't believe their eyes. Roland then had to wait while the vet examined her. The other rangers told him he was mad to bring her in. He would be responsible for her care. How would he look after her and rehabilitate her? Sometimes it was better to let nature take its course. But Roland refused to believe that. He would fight for the lynx and try his best to get her back to health. Then the vet came out and she had some unexpected news. The lynx needed surgery to fix her leg, but they couldn't perform it straight away. She was pregnant. They had to wait for her to deliver the kittens before they could operate because the medicine she would need could be fatal for the kittens. They set the leg in the meantime and gave her medicine she could drink that wouldn't affect the kittens. Then Roland took her to his cabin. He would look after her. She seemed to trust him quickly. He gave her food and she ate all he could give her. Then she slept. She stayed there until she showed signs of labor and soon three adorable lynx kittens joined their little family. Now that the kittens were born and they were safe, the vet wanted to operate at once. But while the mama lynx would be recovering from the surgery, the babies would need round-the-clock care. Roland kept them with him and fed them a formula every two hours. The mama's surgery went well and she began to stand and wake up for longer. When they were sure her medicine had left her system and she could safely nurse her kittens, they reunited the mama and her kittens. The lynx family was overjoyed. The mama kept licking her kittens and they snuggled up against her. But what was funny was that they treated Roland like another part of their family. The lynx quickly healed and before he knew it, it was time to release them. He took them back to the cliffs and then he let the mama and her babies go. She was happy to be free again and they seemed to love playing in the forest. Roland watched as they disappeared into the forest. It was a special experience and he would always be grateful he was at the right spot to save them. And a few years later, he would be even happier about saving her life. The man had saved a pregnant lynx. You won't believe what the lynx did years later to repay him. Roland was a seasoned ranger at this point, but his love for animals stayed the same. His favorite part of working in the national park was when he could help animals. He never expected that one of them would help him too. He was patrolling in another section of the national park. For days, it had been raining steadily. He needed to make sure that the area of the national park that was against the river didn't overflow or get damaged. It could cause big problems for some of their camping spots and the safety of the people visiting the park was still their main priority. The river seemed to be doing fine, but a sudden rumbling noise caught Roland's attention. The cliffs above him had a weird cloud next to them. Too late, Roland realized it wasn't a cloud, but a mudslide coming down, and it was coming straight for him. He didn't have much time to react and no time to get away, so instead he grabbed onto a tree and held on. He didn't want to be swept away in the mud and be covered, so as the mud rushed by him, he held on for dear life. But he could only hold on for so long, and suddenly he slipped and the mud took him. He managed to keep his head above the mud, but the pressure it was placing on his body was intense. He felt debris hitting him, and he was in terrible pain. Then the mud stopped and he was stuck inside it. He couldn't even get his arms out. He was in trouble. His only hope was that another ranger heard the mudslide and came to investigate, or that they would see the problem on the trail cam. At least he believed that was his only hope. He didn't know that a pair of eyes had been watching him for a while and saw him going down. The lynx came closer to the mud and she made soft noises. Roland couldn't believe his eyes. It was the lynx mama he saved right at the beginning of his career. She couldn't get too close but Roland was grateful for the company. He was starting to have trouble breathing as the mud lay heavy on his chest and started to constrict his lungs. He didn't think he had much time left. At least he wouldn't die alone. But then the lynx turned and she left. Roland got tears in his eyes. It felt like his last friend in the world had just left him. But he was wrong. The lynx ran as quickly as she could until she came up on a group of rangers. 
One of them was around when Roland saved her, and he recognized her right away. She still had some scars on her leg and this identified her. She growled at them and then she turned and waited. She kept looking back at them, and finally they figured out that the Lynx wanted them to follow. They had a hard time keeping up with the Lynx, but when they fell behind she waited for them to catch up. She took them straight to the mudslide and the spot where Roland was fighting for his life. He had his eyes closed and tried to keep calm, but then he heard shouting. And suddenly there were rangers everywhere. The Lynx stood and watched as they pulled Roland out. He could feel that he probably broke a few things, but thanks to the Lynx, he was alive. He had saved her, and now she returned the favor. Roland was airlifted to the nearest hospital. He had a dislocated shoulder and a broken arm. He also had broken ribs and had to take time to recover. But only a few months later, Roland was back to work, completely healed up. If it wasn't for his friend the Lynx, things could have ended differently. Sometimes the kindness we show returns to us, and that can be a lifesaver. Thanks for watching. Join us again for even more incredible stories.